And this past week, the Tories have shown it too. The Conservative Party are no longer pretending to be competent and stable. Today's Tories will plunge us into chaos in pursuit of their dogma, divide the country to rule it, and regards rules as for you and not for them. I mean, they said tough on crime. They brought crime to number 10. Yeah. Defenders of the free market, the market's in free fall. England's green and pleasant land, frack it. Yeah. From the party of stability to causing earthquakes, from the party of business to a slapdown from the IMF. From the party of serious government to the party of parties. Liz Truss has even crashed the pork market. Now that is a disgrace. Now, you'd think that snouts in the trough was one of the things that they could manage. <laughs> when interest rates were low and borrowing was cheap, they sacrificed public services for austerity. Now they're borrowing just as interest rates are soaring. To think this was the party that claimed they were for sound money. That's what one high-flying New Tory MP certainly thought back in 2012, he wrote a pamphlet demanding a balanced budget every year. He said, fiscal prudence is the very least we should expect from a Chancellor. And if they failed, they should face a 20% pay cut. I tell you what, that Tory MP must be absolutely furious with a new Chancellor. Except he is the new Tory <laughs> Chancellor. <laughs> 